Hello, welcome back to Igbo Online College. In today's video, we are going to be learning some vocabularies, Igbo vocabulary. So let's go. On the board, we have Anga. Anga means cane. Anga, cane. We're going to be using each of them to form sentences. So let's go. Anga. Nem piaram anga. Nem piaram anga. Nem ne nem say that. Nem my mother piaram flog me. Piaram m piaram piaram anga. Nem piaram anga. It means my mother flogged me king. My mother flogged me king. This is one of the differences between English and Igbo. English will end as my mother flogged me, but Igbo will tell you with what he she flogged. Nem piaram anga say that nem. Piaram anga nem piaram anga. Good job. Okay, let's go to the next one. Before that, this could be you could remove nem. It could be one nem my sibling. One nem. It could be obina. You add somebody's name. You remove this. You add someone's name. Obin na piaram anga. You can remove m. Mm, you can say ya. Obin na piara ya anga. It could be obin na piara uju anga somebody's name. So you can replace. You can say o piara ya, o piara ya, o piaram anga. So you could replace this or this. Did you get that? Good. Let's go to the second one. Anga or anga. Anga or anga. It means how. If I say anga, how? It, 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 it is also how are you? Anga, how are you? What's up? Ala, Ija, Ala. What's up? <laughs> Anga. How? Okay, you could use it in a sentence. You can just ask somebody. Ala. Alpha. What's up? Anga, Ala, or Anga. But the normal me we use this. Ala, Anga. They, are, they mean the same thing. Isiana Eme Etwa. How are you doing this? I mean, how are you doing this? Isiana Eme Etwa. How do you do this? Or how are you doing this? Or how did you do this? Remember, you could replace the pronouns. Ano, ano, ano is B. Ano, B. Say that. Ano B. This sound is like the ing sound in English. Ing sound in English. Ing ng ng ang ang ang. Good job. <laughs> okay. Ano. Maram. A B stung me. This one, Baras, sting or stung. 
what you need, but we don't have this could be present or past. B stung me. This could mean present tense or it could mean present tense. If I am stung by a B right now, I could say Amubaram, Amubaram, Amubaram Keta, Amubaram Keta. If it is yesterday, I could also I can also say Amubaram Onya. Amubaram Onya. But in English, if it is now it says thing. If it is yesterday past and it says storm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was stung by a bee just now. So even though this is actually technically this is past tense, but you could use it in the present tense in terms of this. Yeah. Some struck some evil verbs are like that. You can like you say will 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 technically it is the past tense form but will is present tense you can tell some take will will take will in english you cannot say took took you are telling somebody to take something like telling the person took no but anyway you can use this so these are some differences Okay, Anu Baram, you could say Anu Baraya. Anu Nanyo Manamu. Manu. Anu. The bee produces honey. Man Anu means honey. Man ang means honey. The bee produces honey. The bee produces honey. Ano na nyo mano ano. The bee produces honey. Nyem mano ano. Give me some honey. Nyem mano ano. Give me some honey. Ano juru eba ebe ano ebe ano eba means that place ano juru ebe ano that place is filled with b that place is filled with b ano juru eba ano so that is it today and I will see you in my next one. Can I share? And make sure to subscribe and share. Bye.